Hey, it's Chabo. Welcome to Bat Pablo. It's just a long acronym. Bat Pablo is brings our answer thingy while picking a BrickLink Lego order. Actually, that would be a Bat W Pablo. <laughs> but uh, so I don't know why. Oh, I'll explain why this sits right here. This is the sealed Daily Bugle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be picking a, a order for Jumper Jacks. Let me look at here. Make sure I got the name right. Yes, Jumper Jacks, a BrickLink order. It's going to have a familiar color <laughs> in that order. Uh, but I also want to take the time to answer some of your questions. I know I haven't done a Briggs R answer thing in a while, so I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to at least answer a few of the questions that have come up recently. And these will probably go in reverse order, like the newest questions will be answered first, which that doesn't seem fair, but life isn't fair. And so we're going to start with this first question from Mr. Hyota Panda. <laughs> I, was just, I, I just wanted to say that name, actually. But Mr. Hyota Panda says, curious how you deal... You might want to put this up here. He says, I'm curious how you deal with sorting and gathering the biggest, most complex pieces in your store, or if you even bother <laughs> to have some of the bigger, complex pieces in your store most of the time. And that's why I got this set here. This is one of the bigger complex pieces i think that's what he means by pieces i don't think he means like individual pieces because it don't matter how big or small a piece is it's got to i can put it somewhere <laughs> and then if it's if it's one by one like if it's one by one round uh, tiles or if it's ginormous bricks i don't i can't think of a big one right now <laughs> i don't know you know what I mean. It, it doesn't matter, but I think what you mean is like parting out things like this. And I've wanted to part this one out. So they might be bricks, maybe buy two of these because you wanted to expand it. Uh, but to make it twice as big, you have to buy four of them because of the cube square law or something. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, so I don't think we're going to add to it. And I guess so. I don't. I, we're running out of space, and I've uh, we had a family meeting. And we've decided to turn the BrickLink store area into like a family room for watching TV, and turn the living room more into a more just where people can come in and visit, and we can put furniture that Charlie won't destroy <laughs> up there. Uh, why am I about to open this set? So this is one of the bigger complex pieces. This thing has like I don't know like almost 600 lots in it or does it have 600 i'm not even gonna look it's got a lot of lots it's one of those like if you just got one copy why am i doing this face it's one of those that you wouldn't really want to part it out but it's got some cool minifigures so yeah i'm going to part this one out but it's one of those that will take a while but the reason i got it is these six by 14 plates so i i've been building over the last few days i take a little time each evening and work on the Star Destroyer from 2006, set 6211. It's in the living room. Uh, I, I sometimes only build for like 30 minutes, but between cleaning and everything and all that, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting to the getting close to the to the to finishing it, but I realized that two of the six by 14 plates I had, not the, the ones I bought from Bricklink, but two of the ones I already had. As I got to look at them, I'm like, these are not light bluish gray. These are dark, light gray. They're the old gray. Uh, they, uh, when I was washing them, I didn't notice it and because, you know, they were dirty and everything. And I thought they would clean up. And then I realized, oh, uh, these are um, the wrong color because light bluish gray was the color in 2006, not light gray. So this set apparently has three of them. And so I'm going to see if I can... Oh, no. I bet you it's in the box. But, yes, yeah, definitely, this is definitely, like, when I compare it to the light bluish gray, it's definitely light gray, not light bluish gray. So it's probably in the box. It's within the box, I'm guessing. Let's see the one here. I, they might be bricks built, this, the, the copy that we have. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do that later. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and start parting it out but so the the family has decided that they want to turn this area here into a den so i got to start thinning things out 
I realized if I take this store and I put it on the other end of the basement, that will work. Uh, unfortunately, it will require moving all of that stuff and putting it somewhere else. So I got to sell more stuff. <laughs> Chris Cummings says, could you please have in screen buttons with music? Huh? George Michael's Careless Whisper? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, I, I don't want George Michael's uh, or whoever has his estate to make all the revenue, the, the $5 a day I make on YouTube. I don't want him to get all of that by putting his music on my video. Yeah, nobody clicks those links. Uh, it's not worth it. I, and I would, I should put the Joseph Olsen song. Oh, I need to start picking this order. Pluto there says, so uh, he, he knows I don't have the Home Alone idea set because I mentioned that in that video. What's the other one I missed? I don't have the Ghostbusters one. All right, let's go over to Jumper Jack's order. And we're gonna to go to drawer 117 and get two of those pink bricks as I as I try to think here. Oh yeah, see, we're gonna have pink today. You know what, I should've got a tray to put these in. I'm just gonna set them on the table. <laughs> now we'll go back to a question. Uh, good all 10 says, are you dressed like your mock or is your mock dressed like its bricks are? I think I'm dressed like my monk. I think that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Martin Jensen says, what's that odd part in drawer 1075? 10 se oh, <laughs> it's one of the, it looks like a, oh, it's airplane holes. Those are relatively new, I think. Yeah, they're airplane fuselages, or, or are they boat? Maybe it's boat holes. I can't, I can't really sure. That's what that is. A large, hey, that's one of those big pieces the other guy was uh, talking about. All right, let's go to drawer 197 and get four of those. You know what? I'm not doing this the way I expected. I thought what I would do is at, get a question and answer it while I'm going to a drawer. So won't we do that? J.M. Clam asks, does the UV light damage the Lego faster? I thought we were all supposed to be hiding our Lego in a dark corner of the basement. Now, that is true. Uh, UV light does. Uh, is bad for Lego pieces. Uh, but... It, I've had some that were not exposed to light that still got discolored, namely blue. So, yeah, that's why I got LEDs. Those are LEDs. That's a fluorescent light. I probably should change it. <laughs> Tryup asks, can somebody please make a mock of his basement? And then, of course, oh, let me go back there. It says, San, uh, Shane said, San's girlfriend wants to add that. So that's what... Uh, uh, Claire from Plastic Architect mentioned in uh, the podcast that I was on over there at Cali Bricklick. Check them out. They do podcasts with different interesting Lego people in the community, uh, including me, although I'm not interesting as some of the ones they have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was something she brought up. So I, I've been trying to to give people glimpses without giving them the whole picture of the basement. <laughs> And uh, it's going to change. So whatever you have in your mind is going to change because, yes, the family wants to make this a den and not a Bricklink store. So the Bricklink store will still be here, but it'll be down there. Oh, look, you got a glimpse. All right, we're going to go get this. Um, ooh, you're getting the sawfish. Drawer 702. Where did it go? 702. There it is. Yeah, sawfish. Ooh, how many did they get? Did they get one they got one that's a nice piece so brick tony b says how is there no dust on the ghost after all and he he watched on the 4k lg tv uh i don't know i think the cat cleaned it <laughs> that that was a that one was a mystery how there was no uh dust or very little dust on that he's got all of those all right see so you no notice all the pink pieces here then I'm going to go, oh look, some one by one round tiles right near, oh there they are. These are probably from the Marilyn Monroe set. Uh oh. Probably shouldn't be setting them on the table. Probably should just go ahead and be bagging them up. Fritz asks, aren't these figures quite expensive? Yes they are. And I think I'm going to sell them. Uh, somebody else asked about the Phantom. And I don't have the Phantom that goes with that. At least I don't think I do. How many of these? I only need one of these. And so, I 
But since I don't have the Phantom, I think I'm going to sell that the Ghost, but I'm probably going to part it out and sell it as used parts. Now, Barry Francis asked a really good question. I know you said you're not getting many city sets, but are you planning on getting any of the city sets with the new highlighter yellow pieces uh, in it? Yes, I am. I really want a highlighter yellow brick. I th For some reason, I thought I bought one of the city sets that had the highlighter yellow. I went to... I went to the store, I went to the Lego store, uh, and I think it's when I got, you know what, I think I ended up only buying the uh, bicycle set, and I don't think it had highlight or yellow, I think, yeah, I'm going to wait till some of those sets go on sale, or there's a, a discount like on Amazon or something, and then that's when I'll get them, but yeah, I definitely want to get the highlight or yellow, and I definitely want them to make a brick in that. And some of you may be going, what's highlighter yellow? It literally looks like it's a highlighter. <laughs> the color. The, 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 uh, the, 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 the very popular yellow, uh, what you call highlighters. <laughs> it's very bright. Noah says, aren't they all the same color? So why is he saying separate the colors? <laughs> it's one of those, if you have to ask the question... You didn't get the joke. I'm sorry, Noah. <laughs> As we go over to drawer 2399, which I'm I'm very bad at doing that. Please don't ever take offense. <laughs> um, well, maybe you should take offense. I don't I don't know. Uh, sometimes things are meant to be funny and not taken literally. And I did answer this question, but from Bridger Proctor, he says, anybody know what the drawers are behind them? I, I actually made a video about that. Now, of course, not everybody, I, I got over 4,000 videos on this channel, so not everybody's going to find that video. <laughs> but I did make about a video about what storage containers that I use here, but it, it, cha you know, it, it changes. Like, I think even since I made that video, I think I've made some changes. But the vast majority of these are stack-ons, but they don't, that com we put that company out of business because we bought so many of them. I don't know how that's possible. You'd think they would still be doing good when you look at all these <laughs> bricklink sellers that have so many of these drawers. I don't know why they couldn't <laughs> stay in business. We certainly were buying a lot. Oh, shoot. I forgot how many of these she needed. <laughs> I hate when I do that. When I'm doing the walking method, I walk away. Oh, I, I was right. She needed two of those. But, yeah, uh, stack-ons and then these Home Depot. Got these at Home Depot here. And then there's acro mills, which are over there. Another glimpse of the junk in the basement. Now, it's, it's interesting. Shane said, do you need a bag of pink frog whilst you are sorting? And then the next thing on this thing <laughs> is the pink frog. Uh, will the pink frog, will it be eaten by the, what was that, a swordfish? Or will it eat the swordfish in the poodle? <laughs> Who will win? Instead of rock, paper, scissors, we play frog, sawfish, poodle. It's a new game. I just invented it. And here's our bless your heart question. Mr. Wabel says, do you know where I can find a metro liner of reasonable price? All I need is the train and wagons itself. I already have the track and several regulators. <laughs> yeah. That's like saying, where can I get cheap monorail track? Oh. So, unfortunately, yeah, it's, you just have to do, like, trial and error. Uh, not trial and error, but uh, a lot of legwork, a lot of searching. Uh, eventually, you might find one on Facebook Marketplace. You might find one at a yard sale that nobody cares about it. Uh, but, no, you're not going to find one on eBay. <laughs> you're not going to find one on BrickLink cheap. Uh, but those are the places that you can find one. All the other places, you'll just be, uh, yeah, doing a lot of searching. A lot of searching. And that's what a lot of people do. They they put a lot of legwork in to go into flea markets, looking on Facebook and doing all that kind of stuff, and they eventually find something. And it's like, you know, the Mitchelliner, it went out of production, and then they re-released it. Uh, they re-released the re-released the Metro Liner and they re the club car that went with it, and then that was expensive. Also, <laughs> I mean, I didn't buy the Metro Liner when it was originally in stores because it was so expensive for me at that time. I wasn't making 
a whole lot of money. I'm not making a whole lot of money now either. <laughs> but but it, it was like, yeah, it it was expensive. But I, I ended up getting it later. I think I bought a used one. And then, and then, oh, look, I got this. Thank you for getting this. Nice translucent. Uh, the re-release of the Metro Liner ended up, why did I point at that? The re-release of the Metro Liner uh, ended up being at, what was the store called? Tuesday morning. Now, my Tuesday morning store went out of business uh, during the pandemic. But I remember getting the Metro Liner for like, $69, I think it was, at the uh, Tuesday morning. The cat will win against, wait, put it over here. The cat versus the frog versus the poodle. But yeah, you, you just have to search. All of us that, that get these deals, it's, it's a lot of legwork, a lot of time, a lot of searching. Um, it's not just, uh, <laughs> there's a secret place you can go to get them cheap. You just got to keep looking. Forty-three fifty-four. That was probably a. That was actually a really good question. It's like I should make a whole video about how can you get cheap Lego? Because <laughs> Lego ain't cheap. Bricks, not blocks. Ass. Um, eBay does that all the time. Oh, well, it was in response to something. But he says, "Do you have the UNICEF van?" And no, I don't have that. There's some of those special edition vans that had, there's UNICEF, there's a, there's the Dannon one. Uh, I don't have, uh, I don't have all the, the instructions for the Canadian post trucks. So there, there's some, there's a lot of vintage town uh, exclusive sets I would like to get. And uh, don't have that one. And that one would be like the sticker, I think, would be the part that would be so expensive to get. I should have got this one. See, this is not how I normally pick orders. <laughs> Walking back and forth. I need the steps. I have a streak going. Uh, let me go take this this jumper. Oh, this is a, the double jumper. Um, this is a terrible way to pick an order. Let's see what, what I'm at. Oh, wait. I can't push the... Oh, wait. Here we go. 9,994. <laughs> I need six more steps. And and then I'll have my streak of... I think I'm at 213 days in a row getting my 10,000. What was that drawer number? <laughs> oh, I forgot the drawer number. Was it 4894? Oh, I'll have to go back over there. It's not moving. It hasn't moved. It was forty nine ninety four. It's like if you hold something in your hand. Wait a minute. Forty nine forty nine. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, and now I forgot how many. <laughs> and I bet you I still don't have any steps. Come on. All right. This is this is bugging me. <laughs> you can see what time I'm picking this order. All right. So <laughs> Fitbit, you're letting me down. And this is it's done it's done it to me before when I'm, I'm at nine 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 and I'm like it won't move. <laughs> Ooh, we got some jewels. Wait a minute, did she only get one? Oh no, she got four of those, and I bet you it still hasn't moved. Look at that, it hasn't moved at all. I this is like video evidence of this Fitbit glitch does this to me all the time and it sh even though I'm holding the phone with my left hand and the, the things on my left hand it sh still should move so now we're going to do the Fitbit test do, do, do. I can't, this is this is going to turn into a Fitbit ranch rant 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 Fitbit ranch <laughs> rant <laughs> And I'm not editing that out. Come on. This is just, you have got to be kidding. I'm getting y'all dizzy. Oh, I might as well pick the order while I'm not getting any steps. 84.32. Oh, they got, she got some chi crystals. Will the chi crystals give me the power to get my 10,000 steps? She got four of them. Let's, let's find out. We'll just keep recording until 
that thing moves. This is um, it's actually not funny. It's not funny at all. So <laughs> I, I I usually go like about a minute. It'll do that. This is like this is ridiculous. How, uh oh, don't look at the junk. Huh? Not good. Not good. Not good. Got some more crystals, more traditional gems, and it still hasn't moved. All right, now I'm glad it was not 11:59. I still got an hour and four minutes to get four steps or six steps. <laughs> I could do the math. <laughs> All right, put that right there. Come on, you gotta be kidding me! This is ridiculous. <laughs> Y'all see that I'm moving. I am moving. I'm not stationary. I'm actually moving. I'm not getting any steps. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> and I wasn't even... Now, that, at that time, I actually wasn't moving. <laughs> and I'll see what it says. 10,004. All right. That was certainly more than 10 steps. And we are on the last piece. Tray six. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I hate the trays, but they're a, a place to put things. <laughs> they're just hard to pick and easy to knock over. But always record in case you knock it over, right? There we go. And I keep the top on it, keep dust off the pieces. The last gem. We have done it. Oh, oh, that was my foot. All right, so that's Jumper Jack's order. All right, so if your poodle is missing, or the cat, or the frog, or the swordfish, one of them ate the others. Frogs, they're voracious eaters. Maybe the frog will eat it. I guess technically it was a sawfish, not a swordfish. And we'll do one last question. This is from Dirty Dennis. It was about the Bofford P. Alligator, and he's on the shelf, uh, or was on the shelf, but... I put a link to it in that video there, Lego Hall from Just Bricks, uh, because if you look up Bofford on Bricklink, it's basically the instructions. Let me look, let's type in Bofford, I'll show you. The instructions for Bofford, <laughs> right there, is a brand store event. Here you go, the instructions. Boom. There's your instructions. <laughs> How to build Bofford. It's right there on BrickLink uh, if you're looking for the instructions on how to build that. So thanks to everybody who asked a question in previous videos. And I apologize again for not doing the Briggs Art Answer thingy sooner or not answering questions uh, sooner. But, you know, I, I, I'm a busy person <laughs> and I do want to answer your questions. And I do want you to hear the rattling of the plastic as I put her order in here but um, yeah hopefully I'll be able to do more videos uh, answering uh, questions that you have about Lego or any other stuff uh, use the hashtag BAT I did not search that in this video I actually used the YouTube um, search uh, for questions in the comment section and that's what it, it pulled up was was those comments that we answered and I just started with the most recent I'm putting in my labels I got to print the label for jumper jacks uh, oh and by the way I hate uh, ship station have I said that before ship station uh, I had a problem with ship station it's the uh, when you go to PayPal used to you go to PayPal you'd print a label you print it from PayPal I don't know why they switched to ship station because now you got to leave PayPal <laughs> and there's a lot more steps <laughs> it's very frustrating um, how many buttons you got to click uh, to print a label. In fact, I'm going to show you right now. Oh, wait, I already did show you. I did that in a previous video. <laughs> it's it's uh, kind of annoying. Uh, and there is... Oh, I hope I didn't... Which one is it? I got to make sure I print the right label now for uh, Jumper Jack's order. We'll go over here. <laughs> Jumper Jack's, Jumper Jack's. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. So, isn't this exciting? 
me printing a label and you can't even see it. All right, so I was just making sure it was the right person that I'm clicking on. So I click on the payment and I'm going to describe it because I don't want to give out personal information. And then I'm going to click a button that says print shipping label. Does it print the shipping label now? No, it takes me to a site called ShipStation. ShipStation opens, a little gear spins forever, and then I verify the addresses. I tell them I want to ship it on the 12th. I say the length, I got to type in the length. I don't have a preset for these. I really need to put in a preset for stuff like this. What is it, Charlie? <laughs> Uh, this weighs three ounces, and I always, I'm not sure if it matters, but I always check the delivery confirmation. It doesn't change the cost, so I've done all that. I click calculate. Oh, I forgot to put the height in. Hold on a minute. Oh, so many extra steps. I still haven't printed my label. I now hit calculate rates. It again wants me to confirm the address for jumper jacks, so I've done that. Now I click confirm and continue. Now it's thinking again. It's still thinking. It's done. All right, and then I get to choose. Now, one thing I do like is it gives you a lot of options, and even non-USPS options. It's got UPS on there. And so this is going to be a good way for me to see, like, if, if I was doing stuff on eBay and it was bigger things, if it would be cheaper to ship, like, UPS ground, because I have noticed uh, there's comparable on some things. But I'm going to go first class. All right, now I'm going to click a button that says Purchase Label. How many steps did I get? I get some steps while I'm waiting. That's what I'll do. All right, 10,053. All right, now it's, oh, now it's, it's, it's I think I've, I've, I've bought the label. I still haven't printed it. So now i got to pit a, pit a, pick a button, <laughs> click a button that says Print Label. So I click that button. It opens another window. Oh, there's my label. So now I click Print the little printer icon. Did it print? No, it opens another window. <laughs> now I can print. <laughs> and that's how you print a label uh, with a great resource called ShipStation. It's not great. And Oh, and they, they also double charged me for a label. We got an error message yesterday on one. I, I did use their chat feature to chat with somebody. They did see that there were there was one, only one label purchased, but I have two charges at that time from PayPal, and they said it should fall off in a couple of days. I don't believe them, because it's still there, and it's been over a day, but we will see. I'll check in a couple of days to see if that's there, and that is Jumper Jack's order. I'm going to go see you guys. It's, uh, yeah, it's late on Friday night when I'm filming this. You'll see this. Oh, or, or some of you will see this on Saturday. Some of you might be watching this in 2025. If you are, I only got four years left to work. Joseph Olson standing in a field, staring at the stars, talking but for real, holding an oversized light bulb in his arms. As we go marching to by four out of this dream and right through that open door Joseph Olsen with that light bulb in his arms